Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ultimate Hunter's Guide. I know in the last episode I posed a question on where you want me to go. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm recording this right after the previous episode, so... Yeah, I kinda... I kinda tricked you guys there. Playing that YouTube game, I'm only kidding. That's not how the YouTube game is played. Uh, but really, there is a reason. The reason is I've sort of realized that we can knock out two things in one go by heading to the catacombs. Because we can do the catacombs, easy area. But the other thing we can do is pick up the Dark Moon Seance Ring and do the Gwendolyn stuff, which is also pretty important because that leads to a bow. So I thought, you know, basically the decision is made for me. So that's what, exactly what we're going to do. Head into the catacombs and do both of those things. As you guys probably very well know, it's possible to skip like 90% of this area. Uh, and I might just apply myself and do that because... No, this, this area isn't too bad, you, you know. It's easy to shit on the late game areas of Dark Souls 1, but the catacombs... The catacombs themselves are probably the, the least egregious example. Mainly because, you know, honestly, I'm pretty sure you are meant to come here earlier. I honestly think, based on just like the difficulty of this place and pinwheel and all that, that I think they really intended for you to come here as soon as you picked up the Divine Ember, or very shortly after. Which sort of would make sense. Because that's about where this area would actually still be a challenge. Because most people come here late, uh, that's like fully invalidated. And that doesn't matter. Because the skellies are weak to fire. And... That makes our life a little bit easier. Other than that, we can do some ranged combat. Just look at that Ferris great bow. Not great bow, just the Ferris bow. Not only does it do big boy damage, the range on it is absolutely ridiculous. Even without the Hawk ring, that would be like outputting serious range. And I I think if we do a little drop here, we can like circle back to the place we're trying to go. What's the necromancer for these skeletons? I don't even know. And how the hell did you end up in the ground? Was that one glitched? I think he is. As you know, the easiest way to tell whether the corresponding necromancer is alive or dead is whether the skellies drop their souls when they die. But, you know, every schmuck knows that. Holy shit, did I just one-shot it? Yeah, this is a... Uh... My theory holds true. That you're really meant to be here a tiny, tiny bit earlier. Strangely, I've never actually tried the game like that. Uh, what happens when you do early Dark Moon? Or not, not early Dark Moon, early Catacombs. Fucking hell. Okay, well that doesn't matter. That Necromancer is gonna survive for another day. Because we have more important stuff to tackle. Is it gonna? No, I was trying to get it to jump off. Namely, mo more important things. It's coming down here. Don't need Leroy. Fine without him. Sorry, Leroy. Blah, blah. Leroy, that's a mouthful. Lots of R's. I'm expecting this to be like... 
I don't know, let's guess. 30 seconds, maybe? 45, 40 tops? Something along those lines. I do like how this guy is set up, though. Everything about this thing is cool. His lore and it's an interesting design. It's shitty how they recycled him uh, later on before Nito, where I guess it, there's like some lore explanation for it, it, but I think it's bullshit. I think someone just went control C, control V uh, for the boss. And that's how we ended up. Okay, it's not gonna take 30 seconds. It is gonna take... I just got killed by Pinwheel. Okay, that was a little bit greedy. I will admit it. I will admit it. I... I should have dodged away. I put my hands up. Sketchy takes full responsibility for that death. Um, I tried playing it cool. Playing it cool, I mean... Playing it cool by uh, just getting it over really quickly. And what I always forget is that I do not have a lot of shit. I missed the jump. What I always forget is I do not have a lot of HP on this character because I have just haven't been leveling it. Okay, let's try that again. I just realized I don't have that bonfire kindled. Whatever. So, this is what I was trying to do. Yeah. That was going to be my initial idea as well. As you can see, I failed a little bit on the execution first time around. Uh, but we're good now. We're Gucci. Cool. Let's go to my least favorite area. Well, one of my least favorites. Fucking Tomb of Giants. Oh man, let's not go here. Let's go back and use Gwendolyn's. Or like, do the Gwendolyn stuff. I'm much, in, I'm much more in the mood for that than stumbling around in the darkness. So yeah, death by pinwheel happened. I feel like though, honestly, you know, legend has it that Mr. Sketch had died once to the Moonlight Butterfly. I feel like Pinwheel... Nah, Pinwheel is easier. Whatever. I accept my mistakes, you know. Shut up, bitch. I'm here for your soul. And I know you can obviously do this with killing Guinevere too, but I feel like this option is a little bit better. God, that thing looks... <laughs> it's too anime. That video... There's a video on YouTube which explains how they did this room. How they make the invisible... Like, not the invisible, but the infinite corridor, which is not really infinite. See, that at that point, that's just a picture. And it's just done, it's like moved with the effect. Like when you initially come into the room, it is the room which you end up with once you kill Gwendolyn. And then you get warped uh, and this super long corridor is underneath that room. And at that point the, like the back wall, or the back end is replaced by a picture. And that's what's warped, like, all the way. And of course, that's the reason where, why uh, this thing isn't actually infinite. You can... You can get to the end of this. It's just, you know, you're not really meant to. I wish I had a little bit more stamina. The effects look cool, like, obviously, re... What? 
Oh, that shit was that. What? Oh, I'm here. But, but still, what the hell was that? I got hit by two of these orbs and it killed me. I know it was a counter because obviously I was running, but... Huh? Shit, this game is playing against me. Unbelievable. And that's why the cutscene needs to play every single time. Because the teleportation needs to happen. That's why you can't just like... Have the cutscene once. You know, it's really interesting how they do stuff like that. That is insane. That is actually insane. Three of these fucking orbs kills me. How much HP do I have? I must have like terrible magic defense. 800. So what, each of them does like 300 or 200 and something damage? Fucking hell. It's kind of insane. Oh yeah, I lost the 14k from Pinwheel. Fuck. Oh well. I'll survive. Come on. There we go. Two more of these should do it. See, and that... That one deals nowhere near as much damage. Interestingly. I got you now, bitch. Should have done an R2. An R2 would have killed him. Oh, you know what? Yes. <laughs> yes. I killed him with a bow. That. That was a nice finish. You gotta admit. Should have been a headshot, but you know. I'm not that good at aiming. I'm proud of myself for that one. I think it's not unreasonable to say that was dope. Because it was. Anyways, I might have lost the 14k from Pinwheel, but I got 40k from Gwendolyn. Now I had the empty chest. The tomb. This is a nice ass chair. Of course, a brass set, which is fairly good looking. Very difficult to wear. It's heavy, like surprisingly heavy. Okay, let's get out of here and go over to the blacksmith. All right, here we go. Uh, this is not the final piece of hunter equipment in the game. There's one more, but we are getting close. No, actually, there's a couple more because we can't crossbows as well. Never mind. Uh, what the hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, that's only plus eight. Doesn't matter. That's something we can very easily fix. Luckily, I have it to at least plus eight. Because if I have to go back and infuse it as well, that's a pain in the ass. But Cool. And then modify. And there it be. Dark Moon Bow. You want to go for style points. You got to use the Dark Moon Bow. Look at this. This thing is mad cool looking. 
And I think it still works, like... Yeah, it almost does normal damage. If you don't have the faith requirement. Where it sort of falls apart is... Well, no. No, it doesn't do normal damage. It does less damage, but it, it does more damage than any other weapon if you were unable to have stats for it. If that makes any sense. If I'm talking some stone shit, ignore me. Um, but yeah, it is. this is for a faith build. It works there with the Moonlight Arrows. Does pretty good damage. If you're not going for like a pure bow archery build like I am. And you want some faith. It's not a bad option to go for if you really want to use bows. Again, it has some style points. Added style points to it. It's a, it's a pretty cool thing. But yeah, that's the Dark Moon. It's the Dark Moon bow. Uh, and I've been putting this shit off. But I'm not going to be able to avoid going to the Tomb of, G Tomb of the Giants. Uh, I really wanted to sort of not do it but the game is forcing my hand a little bit i need to look through some of these souls i have a lot of consumables uh yeah let's just clear these out and that's about it now i have to get back without any deaths and we're here tomb of the giants everybody's favorite so I'm just gonna go in and hope, really hope, that this goes okay. <sighs> of course, the issue is that to get another light source, you you either have to farm. You can farm the the little necromancers, which, to be fair, is an option. But it's too time consuming for your boy. Uh, to get another light source, you have to go through the even more annoying an uh, area, which is Lost Isolith. Or you can have. Thank fuck that thing fell off. Or. Is this. This is the one, right? Or you can have intelligence. Probably the intelligence option would be generally the easiest. But this ain't that type of build. Because cast light it cast light is pretty good. Cool. We got through the worst part fairly smoothly. Let's just kindle this bitch up. And yes, that 25. Now all we have to do is get to 40 decks, because that's when the like the scaling benefit from the fairy's bow sort of caps out. Excellent. Let's go do the patches stuff just quickly. So you have to find him. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? And he doesn't have the creepy flapping mouth like he does in the Demon Souls remake. Listen, it's not that flappy, but it's still kinda it definitely you can definitely tell that's their second time doing it. But Sekiro I mean it wasn't even from Soft, it was Blue Point. Sekiro had it well, like good. The mouth movement. Curious about Elden Ring, you know, how it will handle it. Man, Elden Ring is pretty close when you think about it. Feb. Feb 2022, if it doesn't get delayed. I'm down with that. I'm down with the sickness for a little bit of Elden Ring. And by down with the sickness, I'm not talking about COVID. Cool. I'm just like ignoring all of you. Yeah, about them fearsome knights. 
Okay, they're a little bit fearsome. Okay, I will admit there is some fearsomeness. They are unable to handle the doink power of Quelags. Telling you, nobody can handle the doinkness of this weapon. She's like shining a spotlight into her eyes, like interrogating her. To me, I always seem like maybe she was meant to give you something different because she says these. Like she was meant to give you more than one item. Uh, these things are absolutely stupid. By stupid, I mean their attacks are very jank. It's best to stay as far away from them as you can. Because this happens and then you just start taking damage like crazy. But you know, honestly, this area, what is there even to say about this? It's not the worst out of, out of the four. It certainly ain't the best. You know what patches? Eat shit, bitch. I really wanted to do that. That, to me, felt satisfying. And that's only because you are basically forced to leave him alive in demon souls because of how useful he is oh my god these things so sorry dark souls patches demon souls patches screwed you over a little bit i am not going to lie I have seven Estus flasks. Should we just go for Nito? I think, you know what, let's... Let's not waste any time here. Let's go for Nito. Uh, go through this as quickly as we can. I'll take it. I will take it. I'm fully equipped to handle really anything from here on out. In this area. Oh yeah, no Leroy. That was a shame. Oh no, he does invade. Why did I think he do he only invades if you summon him? I don't know why I was under that impression. Alright, Garl Vinland, go forth. Ouch. Cool. I think we'll give that to each other. We'll let the other one have... Why am I having trouble with this? I normally don't have trouble with this. I'm like not getting the distance right. There we go. That's all you need. A good backstab or three. But man, this dude just screwed up my sort of idea of heading straight for Nito because I'm gonna have to warp back. And the issue is, the boy is almost out of homeward bones which one time I did talk about going and buying some and then I just didn't do it so that was a little bit stupid because now if I have to go back it's like gonna screw things up 
Uh, what should we do? I'm thinking, is there a realistic situation where I'll be going through this place and I suddenly have to Homeward Bone out? I'm banking on no. Of course, knowing my luck with this game, the one situation where that's going to be exactly the case will show up this time around. Something akin to that. Okay, that's very lucky he missed. The fall would have killed me. Yeah, let's just go back. Now literally it's just about sprinting to Nito. With a few obstacles. Probably making it seem a little bit easier than it actually is, because you get crushed by one of those things. And that's never pleasant. Oh, okay. You can hit me from there. God, this thing is slow. It's gonna be the archery battle of the century. No, that was the Ornstein. Fuck. How can it... It doesn't look like it could hit me from there. Let me shoot your toes. How about I don't shoot your toes? How about I just come in here and kill you? Uh, and that's about it. Yeah, the Ferris bow is slow. That's definitely something you need to get used to with it. How the hell did you end up here? Normally these guys don't block your path that much. And now two of them are doing it. I don't know why I'm killing these things. Control C, Control V, the enemy. They do drop the masks. If you want the... Oh, hello. Maybe, just maybe? Nah. They drop chunk. <laughs> oh, man. That is... The babies. Oh, no. It's here. There's something. It's just white titanite. Look. Those things are so ridiculous. The little baby skeletons. I know it's a little bit morbid. That's what it's meant to convey creepiness. But they just kind of look adorable. Cool. Okay, let's just, you know, sort of locate. Okay, so we need to go up. Not that much. Cool. I should be able to manage this. As in the transition from the club to the... Fury Sword. Because I don't expect this to take very long. He's set up so well. And he's just kind of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. Are you not gonna do the ground stab? Really? Okay, he's doing it now. Ooh. Is that it? No, there's one more. Let's do that. Still. Even if you see it, that's not easy to avoid. What the hell is up with his hitbox?
Did I get greedy? I think I got greedy. Yeah, I did. Gotta watch that stamina. And that's about all you gotta watch out for with this guy. And really, I don't know how you could make this guy more challenging. Uh, just because of the way he attacks. As in, like, other than completely revamping everything. I mean, he has adds, he has ranged attacks, explosions, it's just... Somehow he doesn't come across as challenging. Yeah, cool design, though. And that, my friends, is Mr. Nito, 82k souls. You know what we're spending that on. That dex. I know, I know, it's a dirty word, but what can you do? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of The Hunter's Guide with this. I think we made some good progress. Uh, we're really, like, edging towards the end of this playthrough. Sort of, we still have a long way, DLC and all that. Scratch what I just said. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe. Post notifications should be on, and I will catch all of you later. Peace out, and goodbye.